and welcome back to YGSF TV. I am mega excited to announce that I'm going to be doing a three-part series with some old school friends, Darby and Taylor, who have recently come into the public eye because of their interest in fashion and music. Over the next three episodes, I'm going to be chatting to the girls about their interest in fashion and chatting a little bit about the pressures they face from being in this industry. We're also going to be styling somebody along the way. It's going to be really, really fun and I hope that you enjoy this three-part series. I've got Darby coming over now and we're going to look through some old photos from growing up to now and see how our style has changed and sort of how social media has influenced how we feel about ourselves. We both bought some photos growing older through the stages and like our different styles and things like that. So let's start with our the, the earliest photos that we have. God. Uh. Do you want to go first or should I go first? <laughs> that one is from when I used to be like a complete country girl, always outdoors. All I used to live in was like jeans, so simple top and brown boots, which is like really embarrassing. My hair looks as bad as that hay. Hay hair. Yeah. <laughs> hay hair. I went through the Leggings and converse day. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? 14. I just look horrific. So you were singing like from this age, but to think about it now, like what you'd wear if you perform on stage to this, and you're just literally <laughs> wearing jeans and a t-shirt, like you'd probably wear that to run to Tesco or something like that, wouldn't yeah. you? That's like you know, hanging clothes. Yeah, it's, it's like, true. Growing up, would you say that um, when you started to care about what people thought, was it more the boys or girls that you cared about? Because you went to mixed school for a long time, yeah. so. Obviously you cared about what your friends thought and you also cared about like the older girls and the older years thought. Because I remember <laughs> at school when I like I'd had heard about you and your sister, like you really? and Taylor. When people say that to me, I'm like, really? Me? I think of myself, I'm like, <laughs> I'm really goofy, like not really very cool, I'm just kind of going with just, the flow. Just like, getting along with it. Just kind of blagging this. I think you were aware of what guys were saying and stuff like that a bit more when I was about 15. Mm -hmm. When people used to start going out. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Like, you had like those boyfriends that you'd become like in Facebook relationships yeah, with. Yeah, Facebook is, exactly. <laughs> I think because I had like my countryside and my horsey side, I think that I was probably a lot more less aware than a lot of girls in my really? age. Really? Yeah. So. That's quite interesting though because I think actually when you go to a mixed school, you're so used to it that you don't become as aware of it. Whereas at an all girls school and I used to go to parties, you'd make a lot more of effort, effort for the party because yeah. you knew there was boys there. You'd think about what you want to wear. Whereas now, I still get excited about what I'm going to wear when I go out with my friends. But it's yeah. because like I'm excited about what I'm going to yeah, wear. Yeah, because you think it's really cool. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you dress for you. Yeah. Would you say? Yeah, I'm exactly the same. Like I, I completely dress for me. I don't really care what anyone else thinks, and even if it's slightly bonkers what I'm wearing, that's just who I am. I'm happy with the way I look. I went through a stage. My mum was like, "You literally dress like a tomboy." She's like, "You're not sexy at all." You know, and I was like, "Mum, I'm not like that person though." Yeah. Even when I had my boobs a couple of months ago. I had that done for myself, he's been a girl band, and our stylist would be like, you need to wear this, it's sexy. And I was tiny, I was size six, like, oh no, no, I don't wanna wear that, oh no, no. Can I just have a jacket to put over this? Can I just cover? And I would literally be like, I hated the thought of anyone thinking that I was trying hard, I was trying yeah. to be sexy. I was never that confident, even though when you said I was confused to say, yeah. like, I never felt like that. And it's nice that you're now on your own from coming out of a girl band as well, going back to that, because yeah. you're now able to wear what you want to wear because it's you. Now when I perform a stage, like sometimes, yeah, I will wear some things that I love it, but only because I'm more comfortable in myself, yeah. not because I feel like as an artist I need to be sexy, because that's not true. Any chance for anyone to literally wear minimal clothing. Yeah, it's just literally <laughs> it's like, flipped. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's so funny. Growing up, what would you say your main insecurities were? I think when I was a lot younger, I used to be really conscious of my arms. Um, I told you before that I used to do quite a lot of horse riding. Oh yeah. Most teenage girls are literally like tiny yeah. little spindly Thick arms. Like, there was no such thing as like fitness models or like, well there was, but you weren't as aware of it like mm -hmm. you are today on Instagram. Yeah. Would you say there's like ever a time where you think, okay, I've got this event or I'm going to be doing loads of stuff, so I need to cut back and I need to exercise more and you become more conscious and more aware of yourself um, and yeah. that you need to make changes. Definitely, I mean, I used to live a bit unrealistically and thinking that I could, needed to be this way all the time. Yeah. And if anything, all it did is mentally put me in a place that wasn't very good. But now I kind of worked towards more realistic goals.